I saw it. I was like, what? Chemistry is the coolest thing in the whole world. So I found an old nasty beaker that, uh, that you'll see why I chose an old nasty beaker I don't want to reuse. And I'm just putting some regular old sugar in it, okay? Then I'm gonna pour some sulfuric acid into it. I'm gonna measure it first, but I want someone to feel the outside of the bottle. How does it feel? Sticky. It's really sticky. It's not because I got something on it. The store sells it to me sticky on purpose. Why? They don't like it. <laughs> so I don't drop it. This is 18 molar sulfuric acid. It's the most concentrated acid a high school teacher is allowed to buy. Okay, if I dropped this in the room right now and it shattered and went everywhere, we'd have to evacuate because there would be strong acid vapor fumes in the air burning us. This is stuff, if you get it on your skin, it goes straight down to your bone. You'll have severe, severe burns. Okay, you don't want to mess around with this stuff. What's interesting is they actually have another protective layer. I purposely smashed this empty bottle for like a couple years ago. And look, they put this plastic around it. So even if you did drop it, the glass shatters within. Isn't that cool? So there's like a backup, like safety in place. You always want to turn on the blower um, when you're pouring this stuff, again, because you don't want to accidentally breathe in some of the vapors. Nothing to see right now. If I'm blocking your view, that's totally fine. I'm just carefully measuring out about 60 milliliters. And does anybody know why I have baking soda out, like really close to me doing this experiment? I have a it's big a bag. Base. It's a base. And what will happen if I spill some of this acid somewhere? Pour it. Put baking Pour it. soda. Put baking soda on it, on the spill, wherever, and it will neutralize it and turn it into water. Okay, you guys ready for this? This reaction doesn't happen immediately. It takes a couple minutes to develop. Sam, you've seen this before, haven't you? Do you remember this one? It's been a while. Kimmy, do you remember this one? I think so. If this is the one I'm thinking of, I love it. <laughs> no spoilers if you've seen it. I'm gonna shut this. You can still hopefully see it through the door. There we go. Oh yeah, this is the one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Takes a little while. Can't see. It's so creepy. Make sure you can see the beaker. Get down close. There's room in the front right here if you want to squat down. It's just about to start going crazy. Yeah. What the heck? All we did was add acid to sugar here. Remember that. White stuff and clear stuff. Chemistry's crazy. Here it goes. Ah! Yeah, this is what it's coming alive! <laughs> oh, you guys got a good one. This is insane. Isn't that crazy? What the heck? You guys, what's the formula for sugar? C6 H12. O oh, six. What's the ratio of hydrogen to oxygen? Two to one. What do you think that stuff is coming off of it right now? Water. What is water when it gets really hot? Steam. Okay. So if the H2Os are coming off of the sugar, thanks to me adding the acid and dehydrating it, then what's left of the sugar? Carbon. Carbon. That's pure carbon right there. Okay, so that's in the sugar that you eat. That's literally what the atoms look like. Okay, kind of creepy to think about that. So could you eat that just like that? Well, no, it doesn't have the bonds that give you the energy that you need. Okay, technically you could touch this, but notice what ran out in the reaction first. What ran out completely? We don't see any white stuff at the bottom, right? Yeah, the sugar's out. What does that mean there's probably leftover of? acid in all the pores of that. Made that mistake before. So I'll, I'll kind of touch it with my steering rod so you guys can see that it's firm but it's still fragile too. Like little pieces of carbon can be peeled right off. And this is so hot like that glass is piping hot. So I'll be letting that cool down and you guys should just be happy you don't have to clean it up. What? Yeah, but then they'll have even more of a mess than I already have to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys can head back to your seats.